hello everyone let's start with a new video of magento marketplace seller option in the previous video we have shown you how admin can easily set or configure the marketplace seller option module from the admin panel so now in this video we are going to show you how, uh, how seller can easily set options for their products and how any buyer or customer can easily bid for that auction product so at first we have to log in to our sellers panel so here is our demo sellers panel we have to go to manage options so here is add option or manage option so if we click on uh, the manage option here is the existing products which are added to the auction so currently this product is added to the auction here is the bid report here is the product here is the bidding details if you, you click on the bid report the bid report uh, bidder's name will be displayed so here is the bidder's name then bid amount then request to winner winner status and bid time so the details will be displayed in front of you so now we will get back to the manage auction here seller can easily edit auction by clicking on the edit or seller can easily delete the auction from this delete button but we will not delete or edit this auction so now we are going to add a new auction so if you click on add auction then here a page will be displayed in front of you to add the auction so here you have to search a product name like chair and click on the search button so here is the product named chairs and this is for $300 and if we click on add auction then a page will be displayed that manage bidding so here is to check box the first one is buy it now and auction so if you check the buy it now check box then the product page will display not only the bidding option but also the buy it now button which will add the product to cart but we will disable the buy it now button now the starting price is 100 dollars now the start bid here you can set the start bid from when you want to start the bid now the stop bid you can set when you want to stop the bid minimum quantity a seller can easily uh, set minimum quantity for the auction product so we will enter 1 and maximum quantity we will enter 5 days after bidding when to pay in how many days the uh, winner have to pay for the bidding so 3 days then the next field is uh, enable auto bidding automatic bidding if a uh, uh, seller select yes then automatic will be uh, automatic bidding will be uh, enabled or uh, if seller selects no then automatic bidding will be disabled so we will select yes and by clicking on the save button the auction will be saved So now here you can see the seller have seller is having two products in auction. So we will go to uh, the chair product. So here is the product chair. We will click on the product page. So here is the product page. Here is. 
the buy now button is disabled so any bidder can place a bid or place an automatic bid like one fifty and then place bid so here is a message that you cannot place bid because you are the owner of this product so here you get to know the if you are having uh, you are the owner of that product then you cannot place the bid so we will log out from this account and we will create a, a different account for uh, to bid for this product so I will click on login so here is our demo customer so let us go to the product page and bid for the product so here is the product page so here we can bid for the product so at first we will place a normal bid the current bid is 100 and we will place 110 uh, uh, and we will click on uh, the place pl bid now the current bid price is 110 and now if I place a bid automatic bid of 180 then it will show a, a message that your auto bidding amount was successfully saved now if any other customer come and place a bid below 180 then my bid will be displayed at the higher price so now here i have created another customer who will place a normal bid on that same product so we will see what will happen if any customer plays a smaller bid than the auto bid placed by the first customer now I will bid for 130 now place bid so here is two bids two bids from Jamie Doe and Jason Doe now if again I will bid for 150 then again there will be two bids the first customer whose name is Jason Doe his bid is placed automatically as the customer have set auto bid so if I place a bid more than his auto bid now again here is a two bid but the set the JSON do will be notified that he has been outbidded and the bid will be displayed like like this so that's how auto bid and normal bid works so I hope you have understood how does this auction works how seller can easily set auction for uh, their products and how bidders can easily bid for the product auto bid or normal bid so thank you for watching this video stay connected